what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back today we're embarking on the final two episodes of sons of anarchy season two and man oh man oh man do i believe things are about to go off the rails you guys have told me that these these two final episodes are gonna be the bomb diggity <laughs> it's going to get a bit rowdy around here and you can see how everything has been bubbling throughout the season um so i'm not gonna waste any more time man I'm not gonna waste any time 30 second intro let's get it man i'll see you guys for the review of season two All right, so that was season two of Sons of Anarchy, man. Listen, guys, listen. <laughs> listen, man. This show... You know what I'm saying? Like, two seasons in now. And I have to say, man, like... The writing is excellent. The scenes are executed damn near perf perfection. You know what I'm saying? It's enjoyable. It's every kind of emotion that you can have. You know what I'm saying? Like, you laugh. You could cry. You know what I'm saying? You're sad. You know what I mean? You know, the anxiety, the edge of your seat, the anticipation... You know, of everything that's going on. And thing you think things are going to play out a certain way. Because it's it's a season ender. So, I'm already on edge. Because I know they have to leave you with a cliffhanger. If the se if, if the show is renewed for another season. They have to give you a, 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 um, a cliffhanger. They can't just... They have to do that. If you are a good writer. If you are a, 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 a TV show. If a TV show is good. You are going to have conclusions to, to storylines that's been having, happening in the season. But I have to leave you with something so you can come back and watch the next season. Even though it might not stop you, but it will give you more incentive to remember. Oh shit, I need to watch Sons of Anarchy when it comes out next season. Because I want to know what happens. Right? So, in terms of that, they're doing an excellent job. You get what I'm saying? Last season, it was the, the complete rift of Jax from the club, right? Um, they they wrapped up that storyline. Uh, I want to say halfway through the season, that storyline was wrapped up. Jax is back. Well, it was a little bit past halfway, of course, because Jax went nomad and all of that other stuff. It was a little bit past. I would say probably around, I think it was episode 10, I think. It was episode, t is it a 10 or 11 that he came back, right? So it was pretty late in the season. Um, so they wrapped up that storyline, right? And then create this common enemy throughout the season that now we need to concentrate on. And it turns out that at the end of the season, even though we have not really dealt with that threat the way I would have wanted it, they killed one and left the other. And that's the thing. The, the thing about it too, like that was a choice because it could have, if, if, if Clay had made the choice again to abandon Jax, well, that I wouldn't have seen, I would not have seen that coming. I'm going to be honest because throughout the season, when you saw them come back together, Clay went to hold Abel and all of that good stuff. You can see that everybody loves this little, this little boy. Because he basically survived when he was not supposed to survive. You get what I'm saying? So he already, in my eyes, as a little baby, a very strong baby, survived surgery and all of that stuff. Was supposed to survive. Mom overdosed on freaking heroin while he was still in her stomach. Crazy stuff, right? So for me, and looking from the outside in... You know what I'm saying? Watching this show and I'm seeing all of these possibly real events play out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's very emotional. It's an emotional roller coaster when you see these things happening because you're like, you want this to happen, but it's, it's not hap it, It's not going to happen that way. 
I know something is going to happen in those last maybe 10 minutes of the episode. I knew something was going to go horribly wrong. I don't know what it is, but I knew something was going to happen because I'm like, there's no good conclusion that this is going to come to from Gemma saw Polly. From the moment Gemma saw Polly, everything just went awry. Everything just went wrong. Everything just went away that I did not expect it to go. Right? So, in terms of things just rolling downhill, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And just picking up like that. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the ride was just, everything just fell off a cliff from the moment he found out that Gemma, you know what I'm saying, Gemma killed his son, the Irishman, or whatever, you know, um, which I was like, stall killing Edmund, it was a bad shooting, you're not supposed to retaliate like that, especially if you know that that person does not have a, a weapon like that, if they have a weapon, it's different, it's different in every state in America. You know what I'm saying? Like, in some cases, you can shoot an unarmed person. But if a person is running away from you and they're unarmed, you're not supposed to shoot them. You're not supposed to shoot them. From my understanding, you're not supposed to use deadly force in that situation. If they do have a weapon, yes, you can use deadly force. Right? But... In any case, I could be wrong. You guys can let me know, but from what I know and from what I understand, from having conversations with police officers, family members, and stuff like that, you, you know what I'm saying? You're just, you're not allowed. I know it's probably different in some states in America, but the circumstances determine when to use deadly force. I don't think that was one of them, and I think that's why she panicked. Because she wasn't supposed to do that. Yes, you got punched in the pussy. <laughs> it was terrible. She got punched. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he ran. She pulled her gun out. Shot him in the back. There's no way for you to get out of that situation. Because it's a bad shooting. You shot him in the back. They can. They know you shot him in the back. He running. Right? Um, you took his weapon from him. They know about the gun. In the house too, so and they know they replaced the bullets with blanks. So there's no other way, you know what I'm saying? It's just that she's just lucky that Gemma walked into the house, killed Polly, and that's what I was like. This gonna create the perfect opportunity because now Star is in the house. She's gonna witness the murder. Um, I could see that playing out, you know, because I'm like, oh shit, this is exactly how it's going to happen. That part of it I saw coming. The fr I thought. I thought after the fact, this is what I thought was going to happen. I thought that Stahl was basically going to say to her, listen, we both did something wrong here today. Let's not make it worse. But she turned around and framed Gemma, right? I thought she was just going to be like, yo, we both did something wrong. You know, I killed this dude. And, and you know what I'm saying? You know, I killed this dude. I know that you killed her. Hey. Let's just call it a day and let's just figure out how to get out of this shit. We won't speak of this. I thought that's the direction she was going to go, but she framed Gemma instead. Um, you know, at this point, it's Gemma's word against hers, but Gemma is on the run. She decided to run. Um, they don't know where Gemma is. Freaking Tara is terrified as shit right now. I don't even know what her decision is going to be after this because she might not want to be around the club after experiencing something like this when... To be honest, you know what I'm saying? She She's basically going to be the one that's going to take the helm now as Lady of the Suns, if you want to call it that, as Lady of the Suns. She's going to have to take up that mantle that Gemma has left behind to um, to be that person for them. You know what I'm saying? Um, that one that protects family. And I'm glad they had that conversation before Gemma left the car. Because it, it's basically Gemma was kind of like... I don't think Gemma was planning to walk away from that situation. I don't know what she was going to do. If she was going to 
kill Polly and then take herself out. I don't know. But for some reason, it felt like she was saying goodbye to Tara in the car, passing the mantle, if you will. So, I don't know. I still don't know. I can't predict. Everything is just scattered at this point. So, we will start Season 3 next week. And I have to say, I am very intrigued. I am very loving. I am enjoying, I should say. Um, this series very much so. These two episodes were straight fire. Two of the best episodes of the series, in my opinion. Not the best, but two of the best, right? That kept me on edge the entire time. Zobel, I don't know if he's if he's ever going to come back. Um, you know, I'm wondering what's going to happen to dude's two sons. You know what I'm saying? Are they going to grow up to hate the sons and come back for revenge later on in later seasons? Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I don't know how many years pass through the times of the seasons or whatever. Um, I don't know what is going to happen. I'm not trying to predict anything because I want to enjoy this series as much as possible because it's so good. So good. But anyways, guys, um, my season two rating is definitely... First 10 out of 10, I would say this season was definitely better than the first season. And this is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. I have zero problems with any plot lines. Anything that was done in this season, it was well thought out. Any plot holes that were there during the season was covered during the, the, like the last three episodes of the season. It was perfection in my opinion, and I have nothing else to say about it. I don't find any fault with anything they did. Um, Zobel getting away is very understandable of what happened. It's comprehensive. I totally understand of why he survives and didn't get killed. Totally understand. They didn't just leave that out into the wind for us to wonder or be upset about it. Priorities. That's, you know, exactly what I saw it as. If Clay had stayed to kill Zobel, I would have lost respect for him again. But he's back in the fold. And I I really like the bond that they have. Never wanted to see that go away, but it did. And it was creating tension in the club. Now they understand that they need to work together. Still, I am still recommending that Clay steps down. But he's not going to because of pride, still the same. But I'm still saying he should step down. But at the end of the day, you know, as long as they're working together and understand each other, I think things will move forward in a peaceful manner. So, as I said, man, I think um, second season in, season two was a flawless, flawless written um, written, aesthetic, everything about the show was done perfectly. I don't have no problems with any camera angles, anything like that. Nothing. The video, the, 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 the cinematography, everything about this show was done perfectly. And I think they improved over season one, definitely in season two. It was a perfect season, in my opinion. Don't have no fault with anything. The dialogue was great. The acting was great. Some exceptional stuff. Somebody did inform me because I did ask in, I think, the last reaction I asked if OP won any awards for, for, for the show. And you guys told me that he did win an award. It's, it's not an Emmy. He deserves. It's This season was an Emmy-nominated per performance by the guy that plays OP in the show. I am not even kidding. In my opinion, he did an excellent job. It's not easy to do the things that he's doing in this show. Everybody did a great job, but I think he was the standout in season two. That's just my opinion. Um, we had a lot more scenes with him in this season than last season. Of course, you know, um, don't get me wrong. Jax is killing it too, but I think Opie topped him this season. Um, Jack's still my favorite character, but Opie was my favorite actor in the series 
for season two. No doubt about it. So um, if you guys disagree with me, that's okay. Let me know who was your favorite actor. If it wasn't Opie, let me know that in the comment section. I'll be happy to respond. Anyways, thank you guys so much. 10 out of 10 season 2 for Sons of Anarchy man. You guys have been awesome. You guys have been supporting the videos even though there was a there was there's some drop off. I don't know if you guys are getting the notifications or not, but there was some drop off in the views cuz we were doing somewhere around 150 per upload. Um but there was some drop off for the last couple of uploads I did, but that's okay. Um it's fine as long as as long as somebody's watching it, I'll keep putting up the episodes. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I will catch you guys for the next one, man. Peace.